speaker is Johannes Kraus. And he answered me my question. He said when he was young, he enjoyed doing a lot of different things. For example, playing music, playing sports, playing the woods. Not familiar with us, right? And hiking. So he did a lot of different things, enjoying them. And he said he was always the oldest and tallest kid in the group. So which made him sort of kind of a leader. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting. All right. So Johannes is going to deliver his speech. The title is The Best and Greatest Things to Live. Let's welcome Johannes. The best and greatest things in life are for free. What do I mean by that? We in the Western world follow the illusion that joy and excitement have to be an expensive manner. We are in jobs that don't fulfill ourselves and for what reason? We try to get distracted in the evenings and on the weekends. So we go to fancy restaurants, we go on excessive shopping tours or expensive wellness trips. Every other year we will buy a new cell phone Every other four years, we will buy a bigger, flatter TV. And every four to eight years, we will drive a bigger, newer car. There's just no problem with that. In order to buy all those neat things that help us distracting from our working life, we need more money, right? And in order to have more money, we need to work more. We might be more frustrated and anxious, so we need more things that keep us distracted from, from work, right? So it's like a vicious circle. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to be a moralist. I don't want to judge anybody on what's good or bad consumption. I have another point to tell you. I mean, all we want to do is be happy, right? To be happy. What does it mean? <coughs> Let's look into our brains. There are several substances that regulate our mood, our happiness, our relationship to others. For instance, one substance is dopamine. Maybe you've heard about it. Dopamine is a hormone responsible for the rewarding, right? So you plan a task, and you finish that task, you feel good, right? I planned this morning to bring out the garbage. I brought out the garbage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> feels good, right? The same after I have delivered the Toastmaster speech and sit back on my seat, I feel good. This is dopamine. You know that, right? This is basically good with dopamine. Dopamine also works whenever you consume things. All those things I've mentioned before, when you consume those, you feel better. The same as with food, especially with sweet food, with nicotine, also with alcohol. I had three beers. Yes, I feel good, huh? Great. There's just one problem with dopamine. Dopamine doesn't last very long in the body. And it is highly addictive to the body. Dopamine is the reason why we stand every morning in MRT, scrolling through our cell phone, through the Facebook feed. Every time you see a new message, you get a little shot of dopamine and you feel kind of happy, right? So everybody is like, you know, stretching his thumb, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> this is just a small amount of dopamine. But as I said, this does not take, last for very long. This is the bad news, but there's also good news. There are other substances in our body that, that help us being happier without necessarily consuming any further. For instance, there are endorphin and serotonin. Endorphin is a hormone, it's the stress and painkiller. For instance, when you start running, 
You run a lot, right? You run for your life, and after half an hour, you like, oh, this feels good. Awesome. Hey, woo. I run till tomorrow. <laughs> this is endorphin in our body, helping us overcome pain. <coughs> Serotonin is the after workout hormone. Whenever you have like an intense workout, you stop running at some point, and you're at home, and you feel happy, and you're self-centered, and nobody can really harm you. This is serotonin. Okay. Another great substance is oxytocin. Oxytocin is a substance that is responsible while when we go to the movies or to the restaurants, it's always more fun to go in a group and not all by yourself, right? It's not really fun to go to the restaurant all by yourself. It's okay, but in a group it's much more fun. And this social bond, responsible uh, hormone, this is oxytocin. This is responsible when a mother holds her child for the very first time and she has this incredible feeling, you know, like King, Lion King, you know, like holding like this, and this is my baby. <laughs> it's the most, um, um, most uh, proper feeling whatever a mother can have. This is with regards to oxytocin. Also when you have mutual touch with each other, right? Like for instance sex, of course, or free hugs, you feel better. This is oxytocin. For instance, if I would say, hey, let's have a deal, I'm gonna buy your car. Deal, right? Deal? <laughs> and you would say, uh, yes, you can have my car, but I'm not gonna handshake you. <laughs> Wouldn't feel right, right? This is oxytocin. Another good thing oxytocin does, when you help other people without expecting any reward for that. So for instance, you have a small son, you have a son, and I teach him how to ride his bike, and it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work, and suddenly, he goes. And you feel like, wow. <laughs> Isn't it great? You know what I'm talking about, right? This is oxytocin. Or like as a Toastmaster mentor, we help each other here. Becoming better. It makes us feel better. Oxytocin. So you see, and I stand by that claim, the greatest and best things in life are for free. In case you need further examples, in case you don't know, here are some more advice I can give. Go to a park, sing or dance with each other, have a chat with the mailman, write a letter to a friend you haven't seen in a long time, and you take just a simple plain paper and a pencil and while you write him, you imagine how this friend will read this letter in the future and you feel, feel better. You see, all this helps us to reach a world full of joy and excitement without being dictated by the media or by advertisements. We will enter a world of joy and happiness. And this will feel us more happy. We will be happy. Thank you.